Today on Retro Shiz, we're taking a look back at the 1990s The Bat Jet from the Dark Knight Collection by Kenner. It's Batman like you've never seen him before. It's Batman like you've never seen him before. Wow. Hey, Joker, a battery surprise. Miss me, Batman. Bat Jet, wings out, fire. Batman, the Dark Knight Collection, each sold separately. Now, before we get into this whole Bat Jet business, my story starts with this little shindig toy. Back, yeah, early 90s, in Lake Elsinore, California, we were walking downtown district, and lo and behold, they had a flea market going on. You know how much I love those types of things. Wish California had more of those, especially these days. But lo and behold, gentlemen had a table set out, toys as far as the eye could see, and for 50 cents, I got myself a brand new bat jet. Well, it was missing the little missile, of course, but we fixed that years later. But yes, this is the 1990s, the Dark Knight Collection, Batman, Bat Jet, and it is amazing. I love this thing. It is definitely a toy that just hits me right in the nostalgic feels. Of course, going through the old Kenner guidebook and seeing the Bat Jet action vehicle featuring a nose missile that really fires and pop out wings and lock the wings back and yada yada. You can do all kinds of stuff for soaring around. Hey, did you know it's based off the old Silver Hawks Sprint Hawk vehicle that also had a firing nose cone blaster with the snap out wings? Yeah, totally did. So it's basically a repurposed toy. But you know what? If I ever did find an old Silver Hawks one, I would definitely pick that up. This thing is gorgeous. Basically just very flat Black mixed with glossy black elements and personalization of Batman, of course, every which way on this sucker. And yeah, it has its nicks and dings from play over the years, but yeah, it was just a fantastic toy. And for the most part, my stickers are still well intact. I absolutely love the sculpt on this thing. It doesn't really make much sense in terms of looking I guess and fighting villains if you're flying this thing around being that you're reclining as Batman but the underside equally as detailed love to see all the little Kenner details and screw holes and everything else with the back is very cool it's got the twin jet blasters and the canopy opens really nicely you get to see all the different computer systems inside and where Batman sits now for this one I'm going to use my Blue Kenner Batman, because I think that's a nice contrast between the all black and the blue. That's just what we're doing. So he fits in really nicely, close up the canopy, it fits in, locks in, and you're ready to take off. Now you want to push the wings back, they lock into place. You'll notice a couple buttons here and there, right? Well, we'll get to that in just a second, but this thing... I can't tell you all the nostalgic feels that I get for this. And yeah, we got a bit of a blaster right here. So you push this button and it fires off a missile. Boom, hit all the enemies you want. Predator, take them down. And when you're done, just simply pop it right back in. But the wings, oof, that's, oof, listen to that winged sound right there. That's the stuff of magic. I can't tell you how many times I've pushed that button to have those wings pop out and they still work to this day they got some super springs in there and if you want to go ahead and use it for any other smaller size batman figure let's say like the batman 89 yeah he will definitely fit in there as well hey you got the arctic batman or gold batman or tech shield batman or whatever other kinds of batmans yeah they all fit inside and for the type of vehicle it is it totally works with them but i'll be honest with you I was known primarily for using it for Ghostbusters back in the day. Yeah, there were gremlins on the wing. Haha, <laughs> corny joke. Anyways, that's going to be my look back at the 1990 Bat Jet vehicle from the Dark Knight collection. Is it Batman like you've never seen it before? Well, yeah. It's taking an old vehicle from the Silver Hawks and repurposing it as Batman would do. But it's still just an excellent vehicle and one that, you know... It just holds a special place in my heart. But what about you? Do you have this one? Do you need to get it now? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Dark Knight Collection. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, 50 cents. Yeah, that's, that's what I got this for. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.